This is Muscle Freeze. Rebecca Robbins is looking to grow her massage therapy business. It's a wellness practice. Like any small business, it's good to diversify. And so is her friend, Jackie Lewis. The licensed massage therapists say they're in a bind and missing out on a growing market, CBD. Putting us at a disadvantage against these larger businesses. It's extremely frustrating. Lewis says the booking company she started using to process credit card payments told her she couldn't offer CBD oil massages in her practice. She had a credit card payment withheld $150 until she took any mention of CBD off her website and sent the company a statement that I would not use CBD in my treatments at all. Some big stores like Bed Bath & Beyond have CBD products listed on their websites. I just went inside and bought one myself, getting a glowing review from somebody that works there. Other stores like Walgreens and CVS are soon going to be selling CBD in 1500 stores across the country, including here in Vermont. It's been a big challenge for every one of our clients selling a product online. Will Reed runs Canna Planners, a creative design and web agency for cannabis companies. He says this is a banking issue. CBD is still considered a high risk product like gambling and everyday banks don't want to roll the dice on it just yet. Bigger chains, he says, have it easier. While the product itself falls into a, the high risk category, the company itself is not. I just think the banks are being overly cautious and it's really, it's really hindering uh, CBD businesses all across the country. Last year's farm bill took hemp off of the Controlled Substances Act, but products derived from hemp like CBD are still waiting on approval from the Food and Drug Administration, so states are dealing with picking up the pieces. Some states have, have made it a crime to sell or possess CBD. Other states like Vermont uh, have been very supportive of, of the Vermont state CBD and hemp industry. Andrew Subin says there are banking options out there, but they can be more expensive and more difficult to deal with, and some just aren't able to swing it. Us small businesses, you know, wellness practitioners who really have done research, who really are looking at, you know, providing a beneficial, safe product to our clients, aren't allowed to tell the public about it, and that's a problem. And we reached out to the booking company that Robbins and Lewis use for their businesses. They didn't get back to me in time for this story, but in a message to Lewis said not being able to sell CBD was not specified in the contract that she signed, but that the bank isn't allowing the sale of such items. Now, Lewis has decided to stop using that company and says she doesn't see herself going back. At the Live Desk, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.